Hi, my name is Linda, and this is video five of my intermediate level instructional yoga videos. You should be comfortable with my easy series before moving up to this level. As always, listen to your body, releasing any posture should it feel uncomfortable. Let's begin. Stretch your legs out in front of you, rocking your hips from side to side, sit up with a straight spine, and start focusing your attention inward, noticing how the body feels, Stretching your toes forward, pulling them back as far as they'll go. Pressing the back of the knees into the mat, giving the backs of the legs a gentle stretch. And then pull your feet into a comfortable cross leg position. Rock your hips from side to side. Bring your shoulders down and back and press the crown of your head upward. Bring your arms up, interlace the fingers, turn your palms upward. Inhale, stretch up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, gentle stretch to one side. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, gentle stretch, opposite side. Inhale, back to center. Keep the length in the spine as you release your arms. Bring them down and let your hands rest any place that's comfortable. Scan the body for any discomfort. Adjust yourself however you need to so that the body's so comfortable no part pulls your attention to it. And then begin to bring your focus into the breath, noticing everything you can about your natural breathing pattern as it is right now. And begin to deepen the breath. And move into Dirga breathing, a three-part breath. Inhaling deeply, first expanding the lower belly, then expanding the rib cage, last expanding the upper chest and lungs. And as you exhale, release and contract in the opposite order, first the chest, then the ribs, and squeeze the abdomen empty. Continue this three-part breath, focusing on those three areas in your own rhythm, Long, smooth, deep inhalations and exhalations. One more deep, full breath. And then begin to quiet the breath. And move back into your natural breathing pattern. Take a deep inhale. Exhale and drop the chin down towards the chest. Feel the back of the neck stretch. Inhaling, chin comes towards the right shoulder. Continues upward. Exhaling as it comes down towards the left. Continue these neck circles in rhythm with your own breath. Keep the movements smooth and comfortable without force or strain. One full circle in this direction. When your chin once again reaches your chest, let it pause for a moment. And then with your next inhale, reverse direction of your circles. Inhaling as you come up towards the right, towards the left, excuse me. Exhaling as you come down towards the right. Continue in your own rhythm.
and one full circle in this direction. When your chin reaches the chest, let it pause for a moment, then bring your head back to a neutral position and relax your neck completely. Bring your fingertips to palm of the left hand on the mat, right arm is up parallel to the ear, palm faces to the left. Inhale, stretch up through the fingertips, lengthening the spine. Exhale, gentle stretch to the left, hold and breathe, keep the neck nice and relaxed. And begin to create wide circles with that right arm. And focus your attention right on the shoulder joint. How does this area feel today? And can you release and relax it with this gentle movement? Next time your arm moves into the downward position, let it pause for a moment and then reverse direction of your circles. Creating circles as wide as is possible. The next time your arm moves into the upward position, bring it over the right ear, gentle stretch to the left. Right hip is firmly planted onto the mat. Hold and breathe. And release. Opposite side, fingertips to palm of the right hand on the mat, left arm is up. Inhale, stretch up through the fingertips. Exhale, gentle stretch to the right. Hold and breathe. And begin creating wide circles with that left arm. Again, focusing your attention right on the shoulder joint. Noticing how this area feels today. The next time your arms in the downward position, let it pause for a moment, then reverse direction of your circles. Next time your arms in the upward position, bring it over the left ear, gentle stretch to the right. Neck is relaxed, left hip firmly planted on the mat. Hold and breathe. And release back to center. Bring the back of the hands to the upper part of the chest with your middle fingers touching. Inhale. Exhaling, press the palms straight forward. Feel the elbow stretch, the arm stretch, the shoulder stretch. Inhale, start bringing your arms back. Keep them shoulder height as long as you can. When they can go no further, allow them to release down and interlace your fingers behind your back. With an inhalation, press the arms back and up behind you. Hold and breathe. Keep your neck nice and relaxed. And release back down, keeping your fingers interlaced. Once again, inhale, stretch the arms back and up behind you. Hold and breathe. Neck is relaxed. And release the arms down, keeping the fingers interlaced. And one last time, inhale as you press out and up. Hold and breathe. And allow your arms to come down, release your hands, and let them rest palms up on your thighs. Relax your shoulders completely. And stretch your legs out in front of you, bringing your feet one to two feet apart. Sit up with a straight spine, hands resting any place comfortable on the legs. Inhale, 
Exhaling, bring the torso forward. Begin creating wide circles with the torso. Coordinate movement with breath. Exhaling as you come forward. Inhaling as you lean back. Creating circles as wide as is comfortably possible. And next time your torso's in the forward position, let it pause for a moment. And then with your next inhale, reverse direction of your circles. Now begin allowing these circles to become narrower and narrower until eventually the torso is back in its upright position. Once it is, take hold of the back of the knees, bring the feet together, relax for a moment, hands, palms up on your thighs, relax your neck, relax your shoulders, relax your torso, relax and breathe. Rock the hips from side to side to sit up with a straight spine. Pressing out through the heels of your feet, pressing the back of the knees into the mat. Interlock your thumbs. Inhale, stretch up and arch back. Exhale, come forward. Keep your arms in line with your ears. Keep your spine nice and straight. And when you can come down no further, allow your arms to relax down, hands holding on any place that's comfortable, legs, ankle, or feet. But keep pressing out through the heels of your feet. Keep pressing the back of the knees into the mat. Hold and breathe. Should give you a nice stretch in the back of the legs. And release and bringing the torso back up. Bend the right knee outward, take hold of the foot with your left hand and place it gently on top of the left thigh and hold on to it. Take the right hand, bring it onto the right knee and begin creating circles. And then pause and reverse direction of your circles. And then pause. Sole of the foot faces straight forward. You can either hold on to the back of the knee, hold on to end the ankle, or if you can reach both hands onto the foot, your knee is to the right side of the torso. Straighten the spine. Inhale. Exhale and pull that right knee as far back as you can. Hold and breathe. Release the left hand. Straighten that right leg straight out to the side. Hold and breathe. And release, bring the foot back on to the opposite thigh and right in the crease of the leg, not on the kneecap, but in the crease between the thigh and the calf, gently press the knee towards the mat. And release and press. Continue in your own rhythm. And once more, and release, straighten the leg. Do the opposite side, bending the left knee outward, taking hold of the foot with the right hand, placing it on the right thigh, left hand onto the left knee, and begin creating circles, making the circles as wide as is possible.
and then pause for a moment and reverse direction of your circles. And pause again, placing the sole of the foot facing straight forward, left knee is on the left side, out to the left side of the, the torso. And if you can't hold on to the foot with both hands, great, otherwise hold on to the leg. Straighten the spine, inhale, exhale, pull that left knee as far back as it will go. Hold and breathe. Release your right hand, straighten that left leg, straight out to the left. Hold and breathe. And release, bending the knee, placing the foot on the opposite thigh, very gently press, not on the kneecap, but on the crease of the, between the calf and the thigh, and gently press the knee towards the mat. Press and release. Now keeping that left foot onto the right thigh, see if you can bend your right knee, take hold of the right foot and bring it up on the opposite thigh, coming into full lotus. Hold and breathe. And release. Straighten the legs and shake them out if you need to. And bring your heels to the front edge of the mat. Using the abdominal muscles, not allowing the torso to twist sideways, coming down nice and straight, we'll roll down to a lying down position. Adjust your hips and shoulders. Raise your right leg straight up. Interlace your fingers behind that right leg, or the calf or the ankle. Hold here for a moment. Straighten the knee and press out through the right heel. Feel the back of the leg stretch. Deep inhale. Exhale, pull that right leg toward you. Keep the knee straight. Keep pressing out through the heel. Inhale and release. Exhale and pull. Inhale and release. You can make this posture easier if you want to bend the left knee and place the sole of the foot onto the mat. But do keep the right knee nice and straight and keep pressing out through the right heel. Uh, the next time you exhale and pull, hold and breathe. And release back to center. Bend the knee, bring it to the outside of the right side of your torso. Sole of the foot is perpendicular, is, is parallel to the ceiling. Take hold of the foot with both hands if you can, otherwise hold on to the legs and the ankle. Inhale, exhaling, pull that right knee towards the floor on the right. Hold and breathe. Try to keep your left hip down, your left leg down. And release, release your hands, straighten your leg, 
and slowly bring it down and shake the leg out if you need to. Reposition your hips and shoulders. We'll do the opposite side. Left leg comes straight up, interlacing your fingers behind that left leg. Hold here for a moment. Let the back of the thighs stretch. And straighten the knee and press out through the left heel. Inhale. Exhale and pull that left leg towards you. Inhale and release. Exhale and pull. Inhale, release. Exhale and pull. Continue in your own rhythm. Keep the knee nice and straight. Keep pressing out through the heel. Now the next time you exhale and pull, hold and breathe. And release. Bend the knee towards the outside of the torso, left side of the torso. Take hold of the foot with both hands. Inhale. Exhaling, press that knee towards the floor on the left. Hold and breathe. Keep pressing your right hip down and your right leg down. And release. Release your hands, straighten the leg, and bring it down. Shake the legs out. And then let them relax completely. I bend your right knee, place the sole of the foot onto the mat. Bend your left knee, sole of the foot onto the mat. Preparing for reverse fit pigeon or thread and needle, it's also called. Bring your right ankle across your left knee. Raise your left foot just enough to bring your hands through, interlacing your fingers behind that left thigh. Should already feel a stretch on the outer right side of your thigh. Hold here for a moment, get that leg muscle to relax. Inhale, exhale, pull that left thigh towards you. Feel the stretch on the outer right thigh intensify. Inhale, release. Exhale and pull. Inhale, release. Continue in your own rhythm. Next time you exhale and pull, hold and breathe. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. And release. Release your hands, bring your left leg down, straighten your right leg, and slowly bring it down. Shake it out if you need to. And then bend the knee and bring it back, the foot right back on the mat, and reposition your hips and shoulders. And this time we'll drape the left ankle across the right knee. Raise your right foot just enough so that you can slide your hands through, interlacing your fingers behind the thighs. Hold here for a moment. Try to relax the left leg, that outer left thigh muscle. Inhale, exhale, pull that right thigh towards you. Inhale and release. Exhale and pull. Inhale and release. 
Continue in your own rhythm. Now the next time you exhale and pull, hold and breathe. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. And release, release your hands, bring your right foot down, straighten your left leg and slowly bring it down. Shake it out, straighten your right leg and bring it down and relax your legs completely. Relax and breathe. Bring your feet together. Coming up with a nice straight torso, roll back up into a seated position. We'll move into table position. Preparing for cat cow, warm up the back. Fingers spread wide apart, wrists underneath shoulders, pressing down on the palms of your hands to stay lifted off the mat. Knees and feet hips distance apart. Deep inhale. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, suck the belly in, arch the spine up strongly, bring your chin down to your chest. Inhaling, press the tailbone out behind you, allow the belly to drop towards the mat, chest comes forward, chin comes up. Continue cat-cow in your own rhythm. One more cat, one more cow. And come back to a neutral table position. Bring your hands towards the front of the mat, preparing for plank posture, moving from plank into pigeon posture. Wrist directly underneath the shoulders. Step back on the toes of the right foot, step back on the toes of the left foot. Press down on the palms of your hands, stay lifted off of the mat. Hips are lower than your shoulders, but higher than your heels. Hold and breathe. Raise the hips, bend the right knee in towards the chest, then place it down underneath the torso. Your right foot is out towards the left. Walk your hands back as you ease your hips down. Coming into Pigeon Pose. Hips are squared forward, not leaning over to the right. Check the position of your left foot. Walk it down the center line of your body. The closer the foot is to the torso, the easier the posture. The farther away, the more difficult it is. Bring your fingertips back, digging them into the mat as you pull your shoulders down, pull your chest forward, and bring your gaze forward. Hold and breathe. I could stay here if you'd like, or walk your hands forward, coming into resting pigeon. You could rest your forehead on the mat or create a pillow with your forearms or your fists. Relax and breathe. And release, walk your hands back. Hold in proud pigeon. And if it's comfortable for your knee, you may wanna to try to bend that left leg and take hold of the left ankle with your left hand. 
pull it towards you, hold and breathe. And then release. Place the palms of your hands down, curl the toes of your left foot under, press down, raise your hips, bring your right knee onto the mat, bring your left knee onto the mat, sit back on your heels, come into stretching child. And release, coming back into table, preparing for pigeon, plank, and then pigeon on the opposite side. Wrist directly under shoulders. Step back on the toes of the left foot. Step back on the toes of the right foot. Press down on the palms of your hands. Stay lifted. Gaze is forward. Keep the hips lower than the shoulders. And then bring the hips up, bend the left knee in towards the chest, and then place it down underneath your torso as you walk your hands back and ease your hips down. Check the position of the right leg. Bring it down the center line of your body. Pull your shoulders back and down. Fingertips into the mat. Chest is forward, gaze is forward. Hold and breathe. And you can stay in Proud Pigeon or you can walk your hands forward. Try to lengthen the spine as you bring your torso forward and come into Resting Pigeon. Hold and breathe. And then walk your hands back, bringing the torso back up, holding in Proud Pigeon for a moment. And again, if you'd like to try, if it's comfortable for your knee, bend the right leg and take hold of that right ankle with your right hand. Hold and breathe. Release. Bring the palms of your hands down, curl the toes of your right foot under, press down, lift your hips, bring the left knee onto the mat, bring the right knee onto the mat, sit back on your heels, come into Stretching Child. And come back into table position, preparing for downward facing dog. Curl your toes under. With an inhalation, raise your hips, come into a bent knee down dog. You're up on the balls of your feet, your knees are bent. You're pressing your hips back so that your belly's resting on your upper thighs. And then start walking the dog, straightening one knee, pressing the heel towards the mat, releasing, doing the same with the other. Continue this back and forth movement in your own rhythm, gently stretching the muscles in the backs of the legs. And then come up high on the balls of your feet, lift your tailbone up as high as you can. And keeping that narrowness in the top of the triangle that your body's shaped in, slowly begin to bring your heels as close to the mat as you can, coming into your fullest expression of downward facing dog. Crown of the head pressing towards the thumbs, shoulders moving slightly outward away from the spine, weight evenly distributed across all five fingers and the palms of both hands, not just pressing into the heel. Abdominal muscles strongly engaged. Hold and breathe, deep ujjayi sounding breath. Now walk your left foot towards your right foot so it's more in the center line of your hips instead of hip distance, hips distance apart. And then raise the right leg straight up behind you. Hold and breathe. You should feel a nice strong stretch in the back of the left leg.
and bring that right leg down bring the feet hips distance apart once again holding down dog and we'll walk the right foot towards the left this time and then slowly raise that left leg straight up and back behind you hold and breathe you should feel a nice stretch on the back of the right leg keep the knee nice and straight And allow that left leg to come back down. Feet hips distance apart once again. And then with your next inhalation, step your feet towards your hands. Hang in a comfortable forward fold, holding on to the opposite elbows. Head hangs loose, back is relaxed. You can bend your knees slightly if you'd like. And then releasing your elbows, bringing the fingertips down to the mat. Press down on the soles of the feet and slowly begin to ragdoll up to a standing position. Come up nice and slow, using leg muscles and abdominal muscles only, never the lower back. Once standing, allow your arms to rest comfortably by your side, palms facing forward. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms. Relax your wrists. Relax your hands. Relax your legs. Relax and breathe. Standing with the feet, hips distance apart. Preparing for Tadasana. Spine is straight, crown of the head is pressing upward. Press down through the fingertips. And then slowly begin to bring your arms up. At shoulder height, you can turn your palms upward. Continue bringing the arms up until you're in a strong V position. Pull the shoulders down, press up through the fingertips, press up through the crown of the head, and press down strongly on the soles of the feet. Hold and breathe. Take a deep inhale. Exhaling, allow the arms to come down. Once again at shoulder height, turn the palms downward. Continue bringing the arms down. And then let your palms of your hands rest gently on your belly. Close your eyes or lower your gaze. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms. Relax your legs. Now bring your feet hips distance apart, hands on your hips. Step the left foot at a 45 degree angle to the left and turn your torso towards that left leg. Bend the right knee just slightly. Back of the hands, upper part of the chest, inhale. Exhale, press the palms forward. Inhale, start bringing them back. When they can go no further, allow them to drop down, interlace your fingers, and then turn, interlace your fingers. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, arch back, bring the arms back. Exhale, come forward, bring your arms up and over, and bring your nose towards your left knee. Hold and breathe. And slowly release. Allow the arms to drop down. Release your hands. And step your left foot back. Feet hips distance apart. This time the right foot, 45 degree angle to the right. Turn your hips towards that same right angle. And then bend the left knee slightly. Back of the hands, upper part of the chest, inhale, exhale, press the palms forward, inhale, start bringing them back, interlace your fingers behind your back, inhale, arch back slightly, bringing the arms outward, exhale, hinge forward, bring the arms up and over, nose down towards the knee, hold and breathe. And release, bringing the torso back up. Release your hands, bring them back onto the hips. And turn the torso forward, bringing that right foot back. And shake your legs out. And we'll come back to a seated position onto the mat. Heels of the feet to the front edge of the mat. Roll yourself down into a lying down position. Adjust your hips and shoulders. Preparing for bridge posture. Bend your right knee, sole of the foot onto the mat. Bend your left knee, sole of the foot onto the mat. Rock the shoulders together. Knees and feet or hips distance apart. Arms are right by your side, hands, palms down by your feet. With an inhalation, press down on the soles of the feet. Lift the hips as high as you can. Rock your shoulders together. Create space at that base of the neck. And interlock your fingers. Bring them underneath your hips. Press your knuckles towards the heels of your feet and rock your upper arms and shoulders a little more together. Keep pressing down on the soles of the feet to keep the hips lifted. Bend the right knee inward and then straighten the right leg straight up. Keep your hips lifted. Hold and breathe. And release. Lift the hips a little higher if you can. And we'll bend the left knee into the chest and then straighten the left leg straight up. Hold and breathe, keep your hips lifted. And bend the knee, bring it back down. Lift the hips as high as you can, hold and bridge. Your neck is long and relaxed. And then release your hands. To release the posture, rock your shoulders outward. Bring the spine down, starting at the top of the spine. The upper back, then your middle back, then your lower back, and then last the hips. Straighten your right leg and bring it down. Straighten your left leg and bring it down. Relax and breathe.
Bring your arms straight out from your shoulders, hands palms up. Raise your right leg straight up. Inhale. Exhale, bring it towards the floor on the left. See if you can hold on to it with your left hand. Turn your gaze to the right. Hold and breathe. And release, bring the leg up. Bend the knee in towards you. Reach on the inside of that right leg. Take hold of the big toe and straighten your leg. Inhale. Exhaling, allow that leg to drop towards the floor on the right. Turn your head towards the left. Hold and breathe. And release. Release your foot and straighten your leg. Opposite side, reposition hips and shoulders. Left leg comes straight up. Inhale. Exhale, drop that foot towards the floor on the right. See if you can hold on to it with your right hand. Hold and breathe. And release. Bend the knee, take hold of the big toe, straighten the leg. Inhale, exhale, allow that leg to drop to the floor on the left. Turn your head to the right, hold and breathe. Keep the right leg down onto the mat. Try to keep your right hip down as much as possible. And both shoulders are planted to the mat firmly. And release, release your foot, straighten the leg, and slowly bring it down. Relax and breathe. Bend your right knee into your chest. Bend your left knee into your chest. Wrap your arms around the shins. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze the body into a tight, tight ball. You can raise your head and shoulders, bringing your nose towards your knees. Hold and breathe. And release. Release your arms. Straighten the legs. And bring them down as slowly as you can using the abdominal muscles. Bring your feet one to two feet apart from each other. Bring your arms about a foot and a half away from your torso, palms facing upward. Adjust your hips and shoulders. Gently stretch your head from side to side. and then bring it back to center. Take a deep breath in, releasing with an audible sigh. Inhale deeply. <sighs> all muscles completely relaxed and all tension gone. Allow your breath to become effortless and allow your mind to relax. Rest in deep Shavasana.
Feel free to relax in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for joining me. Namaste.